Hey, how's it going guys? Oh man, it's been a long time since I've done a first impressions video. I don't do these very often, uh, just because there's so much going on. I honestly don't always have the time to show you guys a knife uh, before I review it. Um, but I have a hard time putting this thing down. I keep picking it up and taking it out and, you know, playing around, cutting some cardboard and stuff. It is just extremely impressive. So I wanted to show it off, talk to you guys about it a little bit. Um, I also wanted to do this first impressions video because I am going to uh, change the edge just slightly and I wanted to show it, I wanted to kind of document, you know, how it is out of the box. But anyway, this is a Blackheart Customs Pike. You can see it in the sheath here, it's got tech lock on it. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I follow Rich on Instagram. I'm gonna put his Instagram account right there on the bottom. I highly recommend you guys follow them. Starting to use Instagram a lot more lately. Uh, Rich is one of the first people that I uh, started following. Just love seeing all of his work. But this thing, once I took this out of the package and put it in my hand, I mean, it, it just, it fits like a glove. It's absolutely ridiculous. Even the reverse grip, put a nice little cant on there. So that thumb rests. It's just beautiful. Razor sharp out of the box. It's a CPM uh, 3V and it is rock weld at 60. Um, but I want to show you this because even though this thing is shaving sharp and beyond right out of the package, I want to bring that grind down a little bit more, uh, just a little shallower. And also you can see it ends right there and I want to bring it all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, but besides that, this thing is friggin' perfect. All right, you can see those nice red spacers on the back. Short chubby blade. Double finger choil on here. This thing's a beast. An absolute beast. And the kicker is I had him put that on the blade, the K Cole. It's for Kentucky Colonel. I wanted the Colonel on there, but I wanted to uh, make sure that it wasn't confused with the military Colonel. So I got the K on there as well for Kentucky Colonel. This is a blade that uh, I was very impressed in seeing pictures and stuff, and it just doesn't do it justice. I can't wait to do the review on this. But I do have to literally wait to do the review. I can't talk about it yet because I haven't used it too much. So we're going to continue using this, but I just want to give you guys a quick little sneak peek. I'll also show you that edge before I modify it. Again, it's important to you know document stuff. I mean, if you guys were going to get one of these things, you're not going to get it with my modified edge on it. So before I do the review, it was important for me to... Again, just show you how this is coming to you guys brand new if you get one. Um, I mean, it's it's ridiculously sharp. So I got some paper off to the side here. This is after cutting some cardboard. You know what I mean? It's crazy sharp out of the box. I don't need to do anything with the edge. I'm just going to because I want it to be a little bit shallower. And again, I want to bring it all the way down to the bottom here. Um, this 3V is just some, some kick-ass stuff. I don't have a whole lot of experience with uh, 3V. So it's going to be nice to use this knife and get more familiar with it. So anyway, just want to give you guys a little, little sneak peek. And also wanted to open up uh, some conversations in the comments about this particular model. If anyone else out there has it, have you been using it yet? What do you think of it? Just super badass. Made in the USA, but one of the coolest knife makers out there. Uh, Rich is a very, very nice guy. Um, do communicate with him occasionally through some emails and stuff. Uh, just top-notch maker. Puts his heart and soul into his knives, just like a lot of guys do. Um, I just couldn't be any more proud in using this knife and, and owning it. So, super, super cool. I'll definitely be reading the comments on this one, and I look forward to uh, hearing what you guys have to say about it. But uh, anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time as always, and I will see you soon. Take care.